This is a video about how to play phrase three of Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. Phrase three on your sheet starts at the bottom right there. I'm going to play you all phrase three because it sounds like a phrase that you already know. What does phrase three sound like? Phrase three is the exact same thing as phrase one. They both start with C, they both end with C, and everything else about them is the same. So in a way, you can already play phrase three, but we're gonna go over it anyway. Phrase three starts with string three open. So string three, you got one, two, three, and we know that open means nothing. Two times. Then we go to string four, open. One, two, three, four. Two times, open. Next note is A, which is string one, also open. And then back to G. So for the beginning of phrase three, you should have all open string. Then you have the note F. F is string two, one, two, fret one. Next you have E, which is string two, open. The note D, string three, fret two. So string three is one, two, three, three. Fret two is one, two. And then it ends on C string three open. So when you play phrase three, it is the exact same thing as phrase one. So after you answer the questions on the sheet and bring it up, you're going to open this video again and practice along with the video. So the first thing you're going to do is play phrase three. So if you can play phrase three along with me when I'm playing on the video, you are ready to show me. So here's phase three. One, two, ready, go. When you feel like you have that, you're going to work on the whole page. When you have a test on this whole page on Friday, your goal is to play it cleanly and steadily. Clean means that you can hear all the notes plucked nice and clear. So here's an example of a clean beginning. That would be perfectly clean. Here's an example of a not so clean beginning. This is what yours may sound like now, but you want to work towards getting it clean. It could be. If yours sounds like that, you need to make sure that you're pushing down on the strings hard enough. It's like when you play the note F, if you hear this, you're not pushing down hard enough. If you're playing an open string, like uh, let's say you're playing string one open and you hear this, that means your hand is blocking it. You have to make sure your hand's completely off it. The other thing is making it steady. If you can go slow and steady, that's way better than going fast and really choppy. So this is what people sometimes do, and this is not what you want. like that. That's not what you want. You want nice and steady, even if it's really slow. So here's an example of how slow you can go, and it would still be great. Nice 
nice and steady without any hesitations. The last thing I'm going to do is play the whole song from the top of the page down so you have something to play along with the practice. I'm going to play it pretty slow. You can play it a little bit faster or a little bit slower, but you've got to play it steady. I'm going to try to make all my notes clean so I have no ones like that, all nice and clear. Okay, so here's the top of Twinkle all the way down the page. One, two, three, go. If you can play it at that speed, steady and clean, you're good to go. If not, rewind it, do it again.